guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? Welcome back to another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are here recording. Sam is in the car with his parents. Yes. I am running inside from a graduation party for my brother. Happy graduation, Both of Henry. Us at parties today. And uh, the Celtics of course, decided. Today's the day they're like, we're going to sign somebody. Celtics decided to sign Jay Scrub in the middle of both of our events, but you know we had to come out with a video. I'm gonna we're gonna record this, give you like 10, 15 minutes, then I'm gonna run back outside after I edit and put it out for you guys. But uh and then actually be ready tomorrow morning. Exactly. Then we're gonna record again later and have a new podcast for you guys on Sunday morning. We're dedicated. What can we say? We're, we're trying we're trying our best out here. Uh, but I, I'll give ourselves a little pat on the back here, Sam. Our last video after that summer league game against the Knicks, titled Jay Scrub earning Celtics contract. What do you know? Look at us. I mean, I crystal ball on us. I was about <laughs> to lead with that. We talked about this and kind of kicked it around quite a bit as mm -hmm. the summer league has rolled on. Scrub has come off the bench in every game and cracked over 15 every game. I want to say he's been pretty mm -hmm. reliable, pretty consistent in that role. And you pointed out that he's almost adjusted his game where he's not just creating shots and sitting on yes. the ball. Like we kind of, picked out and picked on when we went through his highlight tape. Mm -hmm. Instead, he's cutting off the ball, playing defense, creating opportunities for the offense, and really yeah. looking like he might fit into a larger role with a, you know, the big team. I agree, and I think – in reality, like if we're, if we're really analyzing this, he'll probably spend a lot of time with the main Celtics. Obviously, he's only in a two-way contract, um, but I, I think he'll play well with the main Celtics. And I'm not saying this is how it's going to play out, but I, I mean, I compared him to guys like Javante Green, Bruce Brown, and Gary Payton. Gary Payton started on a two-way contract with the Warriors. I don't think there'll be as room for Jace, as much room, I should say, for Jay Scrub to grow into the rotation with the Celtics. But there is a pathway there if he plays the right way. And like Sam said, like he really adapted his game over the summer league stint where he was not, you know, dribble dribble driving to the hoop on his own like he still did a little bit of that but it was more playing off the ball getting the ball and cutting off the catch or or hustling on defense getting a steal and scoring in transition and I I do think his defense needs to improve a little bit but I think throughout the few summer league games he showed improvement on the defensive end to the point where I mean we laughed and joked about it all last video talking about summer league he just tries and, and that matters in summer yeah. league especially if you're putting an effort then that's that's a big deal especially for guys that are fighting for roster spots yeah, it's too bad yeah. this kind of yoinked like a after summer league idea we had. Where Video. Like, oh, top three guys that can <laughs> land a contract, and he still was one. one of them. So they still have yeah, one two way left it. after this. <clears throat> so maybe, yeah, we'll have to do like maybe a bracket challenge for who should get the last spot. Really? We'll have to get it out like soon that. before the but Celtics decide been to fill another spot. Playing really well, I believe they're going to start. Are they? They're playing game right now. Right? Uh, they play at six thirty. Yeah, they're about to tip off right about now. Yes. So I wonder if he's going to be super pumped. Maybe he's going to come out and score like 50. I hope so. That'd be great. I hope they don't shut him down. I hope he plays, but it should feel good uh, for him. <laughs> right. I saw you tweet, Sam. Jay like, Scrub got a no contract before Jalen. Sure did. Did you see the thing come out where it was like, I think it was Woj reported it. And he was like, yeah, the last year that deal be $70 million. And I, I yeah, like 66. It's a lot. It's a lot of money for Jalen. A lot of money uh, coming from me, who yeah. loves to hate on big contracts. <laughs> it's 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 been uh it's been brutal. Looking at the Celtics summer league stats, I want to try to find just how he has played thus far. Um, stats. Is this gonna work? As you look at that, nothing yes. better than doing this on your phone. Your phone feels like a microwave, and then I have a blister <laughs> on my hand, and it's right. His phone's gonna blow up. <laughs> yeah, no, it might help. All right, but Jay Scrub in four summer league games. Again, they're playing as we're recording this. Jay Scrub has averaged 16 and a half points, 3.8 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 1.3 steals, shot 50% from the field, 50% from deep. I mean, he's been, speaking of microwave, that's what Jay Scrub has been. He's been hot. He's been playing really well. Uh, so good for him. But taking a look, uh, the only highlights we could find of Jay Scrub in summer league, um, Timmy, the legend, uploaded his highlights, 17-point game against the Heat. I think this was their first game of Summer League, um, and this is sort of when Jay Scrub really broke out on the scene. So we'll watch this quick. We'll react to some quotes. Jay Scrub actually spoke about his role in the team, uh, or like trying to fit in uh, at the beginning of Summer League. So there's that. But look at look at the, yep, like the effort the, like this. He came into yeah. this game and created a spark. He came off the bench, mm -hmm. had two back-to-back -back in ones. You just saw the second one there where he stole the ball and came back. and Or is this... Second one I think this is the second Might one. Might have been yeah. this one. But he, he started and yep. helped create a run when he came into the game. 
you see they were only up two, now they're up seven. And he yeah. goes and makes the free throw as well. He just looked comfortable. This was some of the stuff we had seen from him in the highlight tape where he's just getting in the basket, mm-hmm. going through the t- whole opposing team and not having a ton of issues with that. Look at that, just right past the defender, gets to the cup again. He yeah. looks comfortable like- in it. And we talked about it earlier. He's only gotten better. And he, he's yeah. done it in a way that's not, I need the ball. Mm-hmm. No, actually, and and this was the first game, and after this, I remember, I'm like, I don't know, can he do this uh, off the ball? But, like, shots like that, and then the defensive play you saw before, like, he's been a solid off-ball defender, cutting off passing lanes and just sitting in the corner guarding his guy and creating havoc. And I I think those little things could earn him some chances with the main team. Like I said, I I think he'll spend most of the year with Maine. I don't expect him to get a ton of run. I mean, again, he's a two-way contract for for context. Uh, Kevin Gailey was a two-way guy last year. But I do think there is more room for Jay Scrub to earn minutes uh, with the Celtics um, this year than there was for Kevin Gailey. Some some quotes from him uh, talking about it. It was crazy transition for me going from junior college to league, but I feel like my talent speaks for itself. I can compete with the best. I'm here. Uh, The confidence in myself. There's a lot of guys out here. A lot of great guys out here competing. I just want to show that I'm one of the best players here. Um, that's all I really want. Like he just sounds very confident in himself, and you can see that in the way he carries himself uh, and the way he plays on the court. I was hesitant for the Celtics to give Jay Scrub a two-way contract for the majority of the first game, but like we said, like once he started scoring in a way that will translate to the main team, I thought it would be worth it because I don't think the Celtics are a team where they should use. I think it's smart to use one two way and a guy like JD Davison who you could see him like developing and growing. But I also think it's it's a good idea for them to take two way chances on guys that could have an impact, like like Gary Payton, right? Like he wasn't a young player when he signed a yeah. two way contract with the Warriors. Like they signed him, like saying, okay, maybe he can grow into a guy that can play real minutes. Like Anthony Lamb, the Warriors do a great job at signing two way guys. Yeah. Caleb Martin was a two way guy, right? Like signing Gary, guys who could play a role. Gary Payton was such a great two way guy that he won them a title, went to Portland got paid and then they gave up their second <laughs> overall pick for him James exactly. Wiseman and then 14 big deal uh as far as Jay Scrub goes I think he if he does play on this team will have a similar role to Javante Green uh Good. so that might axe the possibility of that which was floated out there earlier this summer that he may be yeah. open to a return to the Celtics um but overall he's been pretty impressive and the most impressive thing is the adjustment he's shown towards just working his way into the team and being a better fit. That's the most exciting thing to me. So I agree. I, as we approach the season and, you know, this last summer league game, curious to see how he continues to grow. If he's going to see any kind of real minutes in the rotation, probably not, but who knows what he'll get to do in Maine. At least he's stuck onto some team now. And his story is crazy. The junior college thing is nuts. Um, yes. And then the fact that he actually got drafted on junior college is even more nuts. So crazy. good for him. It's good crazy. day for Jay Scrum. Very good day. He had I, I remember seeing somewhere he had an offer to play for Louisville, I think it was, but then he realized yeah. he could just go straight from junior college. He's like, enter the NBA draft. He's like, Oh, I'm just gonna do that then. And then he did it. So yeah. uh, shout out him and shout out to uh Jason Scrub who commented in another one of our videos. I th- oh, I did? know Jay I know Jay Scrub's dad. Yeah, he was defending somebody in the comment was talking trash, and he said, like he said, like Jay Scrub can't play in the NBA. Well, look at Couldn't him now. Be our commenters. <laughs> No, it was a new guy. It wasn't any of our, our regulars, but uh, shout out Jason Scrub. I know that is Jay Scrub's dad's name. I don't know if that's the same person in the comments, I would, I guess, but shout out you. Shout out Jay Scrub for making the team. Uh, I'm excited. I, like I said, I think it's smart for the Celtics to start signing some of these two-way guys that could potentially have an impact, a la Gary Payton, Golden State, Caleb Martin in Miami. Obviously, we don't have that experience with him, but uh, you know, it's smart to get a mix since they do have three now of young guys and guys who could play, but uh Yep, just just our reactions. We're going to both get back to our respective activities <laughs> and uh, watch this game at the same time. But thank you all for tuning in. We passed 900 subs and cleared it. We're at like 925 now. Hopefully this yeah, we're just more so. on a roll. <laughs> we appreciate you all very much. Subscribe to the channel. I'll let Sam take us out while he's in the car. <laughs> hey, yes. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any breaking videos like this one. Keep yourself updated with all the latest Celtics news by doing that. If you want the full-length pods that are on YouTube and on Spotify as well as Apple, make sure you follow us there. Leave five stars. Leave a nice comment. You can follow the pod on socials at How About Them Seas, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Facebook is just name of the podcast. Our live streams will be there as well as the YouTube. You can follow Jack on Twitter at NBA. He's doing a ton of great work at Celtics blog. Check out the Jordan Walsh piece. Make sure you, Thank you. read it as yes. the summer league wraps up. 
You can follow me at Sam LaFrance and be it's it for us. Check